All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're gonna be going through the news, but first, uh, let's see how the market has acted or responded to the um, news of war between Russia and Ukraine. All right, so this is the price chart of Cardano. See how now, look, this is a one day chart. I'm gonna close my WhatsApp so we don't have notifications. This is a one day chart, and Cardano has falling to price never seen since february 2000 february last year right so a one year low it has hit a one year low um, um let's see um btc bitcoin this is the one the chart of bitcoin and last time bitcoin came around it was around july 2021 um so this is uh actually hits came down also in january so the market is reacting badly to um to the news also let's check out ethereum now of course this is a this is a good time to buy these cryptocurrencies if you haven't um the market has been reacting so badly ethereum has nearly hit its it supports uh, this support around it for Ethereum, um, but we don't want Ethereum to go um, lower. Anyways, that's uh, that's how the market is reacting. Um, but gold is actually doing well because people think uh, gold is more of a physical asset than than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is digital, so India as well. Um, digital asset like um, um, Google, uh, crypto, and all the rest will go down. Okay, let's look at some interesting news that came over the week. Marshall, La Marshall Islands officially recognizes DAO as legal entities. So I've actually read the article, but let me just explain what it means. So a DAO is an online community, right? So uh, a community that lives online and they, they have their own um, laws, their own currency and all. So that's what a DAO is. Moving on to some other news. Um, Monero community concern as leading mining pool nears 51 percent of ecosystems uh, total hash rates. So you might not understand the implication of this news, but let me explain. So, in blockchain, there's something we call 51 percent attack. That is a, um, a scenario where a particular individual or blockchain or a company, let's say blockchain, an individual. Or a company has well over fifty-one percent um, power. The power could be in terms of amount of money they have, but in this case, power here represents the amount of energy because proof of work uses um, energy, you know, electricity. So this particular company has is is getting close to having more than fifty-one percent of the entire energy needed to mine um, Monero because Monero uses the same technology that Bitcoin um uses right so there's there's a bit of concern in that around that area and you might be wondering okay what if they have 51 percent attack that means if the if any any company that has up to 51 percent um you know ownership of power in a particular blockchain can actually manipulate or change um the structure of that blockchain the best word is can hack the blockchain yes so that is why people are concerned about that so Tell me what you think, um, uh, ideas. Do you think there are ways the community can, can solve this problem? I know there are ways, but us, I need your, your inputs and your ideas on this news. All right. So, um, yeah, that's, that's about Monero. I, I have, I have some Monero that I've been keeping for a long time, but of course, um, that's how investments are, you know, stuff's happen along the way, but you know, it gives us an uh, idea on, on what's next to benefit to invest in. Are there cryptocurrencies and blockchains out there that have less uh, possibility of having this kind of attack? The answer is yes, and I'm going to share that in the next video. All right, thanks for watching our video today. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you if you if you're a Monero fan out there, please just comment in the uh, put your comment in the comment section and let's 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 get your thought about this.